Hi everybody, my name is RJ Storm. A little story about Ted Wrench's violin. My buddy Ted Wrench runs the Wrench Ranch Bluegrass Festival. Is real sentimental about his old violin. The big problem was the neck had separated from the instrument. Uh, the button had been fractured several times, but now it's really broken. The neck block uh, separated from the back because there wasn't a lot to glue to, so we saw the neck off at the button. Pretty standard thing to remove the neck, separated it, and then uh, ended up taking the back off, um, and then we had to remove the button. And then once the button was carefully removed, uh, because again it sustained multiple traumas, uh, we carefully matched it up, and here's some shots of it front and back. And then we that had to be reglued. While we were looking at that, we looked at the damage to the neck block. The ribs were separated. They uh, got reglued later. Uh, the tail piece, uh, the uh, the end block, the holes off center had a little crack in it. That got fixed. The base bar was kind of rough. Uh, that got trimmed up and dressed. But the big thing was the button. So the button got reglued. Uh, it was reglued very carefully. We tried to make it as close as we can. Um, after that, then the problem is the uh, the ribs needed to get put back on the block, and that needed a place to get glued. Where we saw the neck off, we had to graft some wood to the button of, of that, uh, or the bottom of the neck. So we had to double the button, because once the button was put back, we selected some maple, brought her down to a little better than half the thickness, and fit in a nice big block of wood, because I like working with a big block of wood, something that matched and something that was strong. Um, and not only that, we had to extend the place for the neck block to get glued to, because that's where the problem was to begin with, due to original, probably poor construction. But anyway, here it is. It was carefully fit, then pared down. After the uh, block was pared down, uh, it was trimmed and carved just like it would be just like building new violin. Um, and you can see here where it's, it's the block has a nice place to be. It's healthy. While we were there, it was 1.9 millimeters thick, uh, a little crack in the back, so we put a cleat with, with the grain, but we left it thick because it could probably use a little mass. After the back was cleaned up and the ribs were cleaned up, we put it back together. And then after that was glued, then we had to uh, fill in the, uh, the neck mortise. So we got a piece of willow and fit that in. Um, then after that was fit, uh, the wood was pared down. And now it's just like starting with a new violin. Problem is the original neck wasn't straight, so we made the neck straight and centered. Uh, and then we found out nothing else was centered. In fact, the button was... Uh, placed a little skewed to one side and so as the neck was getting fit we had to make some corrections so that required us to fit the button so we had to pare some wood off the uh, edge of the button so as the neck got a little closer and closer we had to take some wood off one side of the button and graft some wood on to accommodate that overhang because now the neck was proper and so once it was cleaned up, here's the picture. It shows the buttons doubled very nicely. Overhang of the neck, so we got some more maple, grafted that on there. Um, after that was grafted, it was pared down, trimmed, uh, then shaped. It was kind of ugly and big to begin with. We cut it down a little. Um, you see the old cracks under there, but it was sanded very well and shaped and tender, loving care and we put it back together and it's all healthy now. Um, of course, after that, then the big job was to do the retouching. A little color and a little varnish and a little color and a little varnish and just go along and little by little it started, the cracks started going away and it started looking like its original old self. Um, uh, so here you can see the build up of the color and the varnish and little by little it's starting to look very original um, so after that it's just a matter of we'll we'll cut a post for it and put some good strings on it and tuners and uh, new pegs and but 
that's the bulk of it. We thank you very, very much for watching. And I want you all to keep on keeping on. Bye-bye now.